News Channel, well, as many as 78% of grade 4 pupils are unable to read for meaning. Well, a disturbing stat revealed by the Book Development Council. The SA Book Fair is trying to cultivate a more robust reading culture, and some are indeed exceeding expectations. Let's take a look. The shelf in search of inspiration. 12-year-old Amir Sali could not do his school homework as a child. I um, then I later found out that the reason he's struggling to, to write and do his homework was his Amra has a visual uh, dis um, disturbance. So he only has a um, diagnosis with 20 centimeters vision. And so that was a bit, a bit a thrilling for us. Um, so without his specs, he's, he, he's not able to see. But the grade 5 people defied the odds. Publishing his first book, Blameless, in 2017. Blameless is about mental disease and insanity. It's about a character that, that has gospel personality disorder. And he, it ends up, he, fight, he ends up fighting with himself, but also fighting with other people. And advice to his peers and those hesitating to put pen to paper. My advice if you want to write a book is to first think long and hard about what the book is about, then for you to actually put it on paper, then for you to flesh out the story and then through COVID and then the book must go through publishing. But the most important thing to learn is to not rush yourself and to take it step by step. I like that book because it has lovely words. Reading makes your brain to be strong. But not everyone is into books. 58% of our households do not have a single book in their home. 73% of adult South Africans claim not to be interested in reading books. So if the adults aren't reading, then we can't expect the children to be reading as well. And that is a huge problem. More reading material is also needed for the visually impaired. We need for the blind and visually impaired, that publishers and authors really come on board and join us and really contribute their material, more material in indigenous languages is needed. But there is progress. Our languages uh, for political experience were suppressed over generations and generations of colonialism and also uh, apartheid uh, uh, suppression and oppression. So now that we are a free country and a free nation, we are beginning to uh, unearth them, so to speak, or celebrate them. As you can see, we've got all these titles, so these books are reprinted in vernacular language, and this is to further promote the culture of reading and writing. And for authors like Amer, the writing is on the wall. He aims to finish a book every time he celebrates his birthday. His second is expected on the shelves in October. Marikita Mutave, SABC News, Johannesburg. Well, that's it for now.